trying to be, of course, we have our original takes on things. Now, uh, Secretary Ronald Diamas, let's talk about this. I mean, you worked directly with uh, Marojas back in the day. You were both in the cabinet. Let's talk about him shortly. But before going to him, let's talk about Stella Kimbo. Because last time I checked, uh, she's also an economist by training. She's also a very bright person. She's still a member of the Liberal Party, last time I checked. Um, and Mukhang, her attempt at navigating, let's say, let's say the realignments in a way that will benefit her cause, whatever that is, meaning, I don't know, maybe to push for fiscal reforms, whatever. It has been mixed at best, no? But it's not like she has given up, right? So is the fact that she was at the very forefront of saying we'll be at the right side of history, we'll deal with controversial, confidential fund in the best way. We'll be. So mm -hmm. clearly that's her way of, I won't use the word rehabilitation, but pivot, right? She's like pivoting and trying to find her footing again. What's your read on Stella Kimbo? Before we go to Mara Ross, because very similar itong dalawa na yan. And, and their stories, I think, also says a lot about the difficulties of being a centrist in Philippine politics, right? I mean, yeah. can you really be centrist and a dissent and have your political convictions and not be compromised? Like, you know, mahirap, di ba, uh, Ron, uh, Ronald, sa ating politics. Yeah, yeah. Let's first talk about Stella Kimbo. What is your read on that? Because from Maharlika Fund to the Confidential Fund, she's always the, at the front. She takes the punches. She makes the pivot. She makes the recalibration. She tries to defend herself. She has been giving interviews to Rappler right and left. Why would you go and interview, have an interview with Rappler, right? Obviously, yeah. you're trying to rehabilitate yourself with a certain sector. So what's your reading of Stella? From my vantage point, uh, Richard, I don't envy her position. No? Halimbawa, uh, she is yung isa sa mga main defenders ng intelligence at saka confidential fund ni uh, Vice President Sara Duterte. Pinupuri pa siya mismo ni, ni Vice President Sara Duterte for defending her. Uh, even the indefensible, dinedepensahan niya, no? yung, uh, yung uh, transfer, yung release, no? whatever yung final term na ginagamit nila nung uh, pondo to the Vice President. Talagang uh, sinagad niya yung pagdepensa. No? Eventually, kinakailangan niyang kainin at lunukin yung kanya mga sinabi. At hindi lang yun, sa kanya pinabasa ng uh, speaker yung pagtanggal, yung pagtanggal ng intelligence fund, no? Ah, uh, medyo nagulat ako doon eh dahil parang kwan eh, parang kiniskis mo sa mukha ni Stella yung kanyang error, di ba? <laughs> na, na siya mismo ay nagbasa nung pagtanggal ng intelligence fund sa national budget. Diba? Ayun yung, uh, or maybe uh, you're yeah. an exit ramp. Like, okay, you broke it, you fix it, I'll give you the chance. Something. <laughs> Pero hindi naman siya veteran politician. Eh. Diba? Hindi siya, hindi siya talagang nasab nasabak sa uh, kwan, eh, bare knuckle uh, uh, na bakbakan sa politika. Eh. In a way, uh, bago siya eh, dito, no? Uh, yung kanyang asawa, siguro may kaunting karanasan. But even si Miro ay hindi pa talaga nasabak sa madugong uh, uh, Israeli-Palestinian war sa politika sa Pilipinas. No? Kaya uh, tingin ko yung kanyang introduction sa bare knuckle politics sa Pilipinas, uh, medyo nahirapan siya. Hopefully, uh, she will be able to get her wind back and reinvent herself. No, dahil na matalino siya, legend yan sa UP School of Economics, no? Uh, tapos uh, hindi ganoon karami yung mga katulad niya at ni Cielo Magno na uh, mga bata, matatalino, may tindig, no? May paninindigan, no? Kaya sana hindi kaagad ka mawala yung ganyang klasing uh, uh, moral moorings niya. No? Uh, sa pagpasok niya sa dirty world of politics lalo na sa kongreso yeah Ronald, so I know it's fashionable to bash Stella Kimbo uh, you know and mm -hmm. people like her but she's not Harry Roque I mean just to put it nicely right uh, definitely she's not, <laughs> I think people have to have a sense of perspective here yeah and, uh, and just, it, yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah exactly let me read some things from you para kasi i i want us to do a proper assessment of what things stella has gotten right or could still get right and where siguro na Malaysia or she needs to still up her game so uh, of course at, at the level of principle uh, uh, you know mahirap talaga sumabak sa politika you know that of course better than me um but 
withdrawal from politics is not also going to help, right? You have to engage the state if you want to create change. Now, let's look at how she tries to put things. No? So, so parang her, her argument was throughout the Gong's time, I was, you know, true to my values and convictions and stood up to the worst thing of the Gong. So, yun na yun, yun yung buong terms niya, di ba, during the Gong time. Now, when Marcos happened, parang sense niya, but do I want to be again in opposition for another six years? <laughs> Iba naman si Marcos Jr. from from Digong or the Duterte's, as you and I have been also arguing, right? So in fairness naman to her. Um, and our argument was, nung in siya ng position dun sa appropriations committee, <laughs> the most important committee perhaps in the legislature, she felt she would have a unique opportunity to make the right intervention so that the good, the budget, the money goes to the right agencies, that there's a proper scrutiny and oversight. So she, parang she felt this is a once in a lifetime opportunity she's not going to get. And she's the right person because she got the intellect and she got the heart. What, of course, I'm not comfortable with is, did she have to go all the way and say, you know, Marcos, she was asked about Marcos. What do you think about Marcos? She said, he has a mastery of the loss being tackled. He discusses the bills without help. Is someone who at least adopts the problems as soon as they arise. You see that he tries to address them immediately. He's proud. I mean, like, but do you need to go that far? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you name problem. Like, actually, I, I was agreeing with her. Like, yes, be smart. Look at what we can do. But you don't have to go all the way. And, and, and her argument is, I'm the go-to person on anything technical, fiscal issue anyway with Romaldes. So you're already respected. You're already important. Do you need to go there and be the punching bag or do the Harry Rocket thing? I just don't. I think she overdid that. I think she overdid that. And and I think that's where her mistake. I think she, her instinct was correct to say that maybe I can make some good change. But you have to do it in a co parang critical collaboration, if I can put it that way. I think that would have been more possible, right? Uh, sorry, I'll I just, agree. Sorry, so I'll just use her quote, Lang, uh, Ronald, uh, Ronald, no, I want to be fair. So, sabi niya, the budget offers many opportunities for policy reform. Using the budget as leverage, every single agency will go through you. All the policy problems you'll have to fix. Oh my goodness, it was to me the perfect playground for someone with my know-how. It was an obvious thing to me. I felt so blessed. You know, this is when she was offered the senior uh, vice chair position sa appropriations committee. So parang, it's too good to to turn down. Like, yeah, But my point is that did you have to go all the way and try to Harry Rocket on these issues? You, I think that's where my 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 malicious. So I'm not against her principle. <coughs> I think her execution was sloppy. Yeah. Tingin ko nung uh, nabigyan siya ng ganitong opportunity, no? uh, uh, nabigyan siya ng ganitong opportunity, ay gusto niyang patunayan, no? Gusto niyang patunayan doon sa principles na nagbigay sa kanya nito na uh, she can push the envelope further beyond what was asked of her. No? May gusto siyang patunayan eh, no? na uh, nakakampi niyo ako. Nakakampi niyo ako at meron akong skill set, meron akong wherewithal para gawin ito more than anybody in Congress. Kaya uh, nung dinepensahan niya yung Maharlika, di ba? Eh, may pagka, alam mo ba yung kabayo, yung may tapalodo? Yung sa racehorse, yung mayroong harang dito para nakikita mo lang yung yeah. nasa harapan. No? Nagkaroon siya ng tapalodo. Tunnel eh, vision. No? Tunnel vision. Yeah, dahil, dahil may gusto siyang patunayan. No? Uh, gusto niya maipakita ma 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 na hindi lang siya good soldier. He's the best soldier who can do this. No? Eh, ang problema, politics is not that simple eh. No? Yung politika, hindi ganyan ka, ka simple eh. Dahil uh, alliances, loyalties, change overnight. No? Positions, they change overnight. No? Hindi ito European Parliament na malinaw yung ideological position ng mga political parties at ng mga members of Parliament. Dito, walang full crew eh. Walang moorings. No? So, it was so naive of her to think that way no to think that way at ito yung kanyang uh, naranasan ngayon no uh, sana naman hindi siya damage uh, permanently but definitely may damage siyang naranasan no lalo na sa pagdepensa sa intelligence at confidential fund ni Vice President Sara Duterte na as i said uh, she went the extra mile she pushed the envelope further 
dapat naramdaman niya yung mga kasama niya sa house, yung kanyang principal, nagsisimula na mag-backtrack. No? Nagsisimula na mag-backpedal. No? Tapos siya nandun pa rin sa unahan. Defending. Tapos ngayon, eventually siya ang nagsabi na tinanggal na nga. No? Medyo embarrassing. Ha? Embarrassing yung kanyang na, naranasan. No? Kaya sana, this is a wake, wake up call for her. No? Na uh, things are not always what they appear to be. No? You have to you have to look as uh, uh, yung mas malalim na mga kadahilanan. Bakit ka inatasan naggawin yan? No? Bakit ka inatasan na, na ginawa? Dapat mas circumspect ka and in a way more suspicious, less innocent. No? Yeah. Uh, wag dapat kasing innocent ni Richard Haydarian. No? Yeah. You have to be uh, sabi sa Biblia, no? Innocent like a dove. No? But uh cunning like a snake, di ba? Ayun yung ayun yung R&R, di ba? Ayun yung R&R. Ne kaya nga, I really want to discuss this. I I like this conversation because you yeah. know, people are just quick to jump to conclusions, no? Or take mm-hmm. sides, no? And then pasasalamat na tayo na may isang katulad ni Stella na napakatalino na nandiyan sa position. Otherwise, this will go to some mm-hmm. trouble na walang alam. And then the other said, "Ah, she's an Nakfostian pack na siya, tapos na yan, confirmed." <laughs> I just think that's that's amateur way of it. <laughs> Politics is, you know, it's 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 wrestling, it's jujitsu, it's grind and pound and all of. But it's about being suave. It's about knowing when to be a people. I think it's more not to be to be bo. Yeah. Actually, Philippine politics is more street fighting. Eh. Ang tawag namin yan, nung panahon okay. namin, sikaran, sikaran. Yeah. It's a combination of boxing. Uh, judo, mixed martial arts, but using every weapon at your disposal. No? Yan yung training namin nung uh, sa trade unions kami. Si Karan. <laughs> si Commander Latigo ang nagturo sa amin sa Baras, sa Rizal. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, so, our argument was, perhaps in, in principle, it made sense for her to to take up you know the challenge of being the senior vice chair dun sa appropriations committee because pasok na pasok ito dun sa kanya expertise at kanya mga advocacy as a fiscal economist kind of person to make sure funds go to the best place but yun nga i had issues with her overpraising marcos jr in public <laughs> why is she going all the way and doing the harry rocket thing for for sara duterte he, she didn't need to do that especially when nagpipivot na away yung mga kabit parang wala nang tao sa likod niya she's still doing <laughs> Like uh, <laughs> exactly. That in a way actually that got my empathy in a sense because napansin ko amateur talaga to hindi na hindi na nababasa hindi kasi siya nakikinig sa mga vlogs natin eh. if he, oh. she would have realized six months ago medyo iba na inip ng hangin diba after the whole oh. thing and you know she's saying herself I'm his go to for technical issues referring to Martin Romualdez. So apparently you're highly respected and praised. So you don't need to take the punches and go the extra mile if you're already valued and all. Now, nevertheless, she has plans in politics after Congress. So in 2025 midterm elections, Mohamed may plan siyang tumakbo for Marikina, no? Mayor of Marikina or something. Yeah. And yeah. Basically, yeah. if you're still in the opposition, I mean, you're part of the Liberal Party, San <laughs> support and resources and all. So probably she also overdid it because she's also, you know, she's also expecting that she'll be the administration bet for a potentially competitive position in the major city like Marikina City. So siguro nag-overkill na siya or like, you know, you know what I'm saying, nag-overcompensate siya or masyado siyang sigurista. Kaya sumablay ng ganito, no? Uh, at saka member siya ng isang political party na I think has six or seven members of parliament, Congress. Uh, I think uh, siya kasama yung four more are members of the majority. One of their members is a member of the minority and their party president is a member of a, a self-created uh, independent minority, no? si Edsel Lagman, who calls the minority Iskirol or company union. And uh, of course, calls the majority uh, part of the administration. So imagine she's part of this political party, no? The party of uh, my boss, 
Why? 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 No, because <laughs> ang tanong dito, Ronald, diba? see, we advise everyone because we're here as political strategists, right? So even if we may not be fans of, I don't know, Digong Aro, you would say, sana yan nalang gawin nyo. Do, mag, be relevant but wag pa-relevant. Well, so, wag sablay yung timing, wag Karen. Now, if 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 Stella came, if we were to advise Stella, what would be our advice to her? How to quote-unquote redeem herself or put herself in a stronger position? Uh, in the coming years. I think she has a pretty good chance of winning the mayor position in Marikina, but I'm sure that's not going to be the final position. I, I'm sure she'll have plans for national office down the road. So how should Stella plan her next three to six years from this tortuous experience she has had over the past 12 months? <coughs> Sobrang difficult yung kanyang politician. I think she's the most bashed politician aside from the usual suspects. Right? <laughs> Tingin ko... Kung tumakbo siyang mayor na Marikina, I'm almost sure she will win. So, dun niya i-reinvent yung kanyang sarili. For lack of a better example, Abiko Soto of Marikina. Diba? Dito sa Marikina. No? Do something like that. Because politics is local. No? Dito sa Makati ni Binay, dito sa Pasig ni Biko Soto, gawin niya dito sa Marikina. Dahil mas... For, for, a, for a long while, uh, very iconic ang Marikina. It's like Manila. No? Pag sinabing Marikina, no, lahat, lahat nakaka-identify, lahat nakaka-associate. Yan ang gawaan ng sapatos no, nung panahon namin. Hindi yung panahon nyo. No? Uh, nung panahon namin, It's Marikina, sapatos, sapatos, sapatos. No? Little Italy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So very iconic. No? Gawin na niya. No? Katulad ng ginagawa ni Magalong sa Baguio, Katulad ng ginagawa ni Biko Soto sa sa Pasig, no? Katulad ng ginawa ni Binay dati sa Makati, no? So gawin na niya, no? Doon siya magsimula mag-reinvent. And then use that as the her narrative for national position, no? Uh, tingin ko hindi naman siya deeply damaged sa nangyari. Yeah, yeah. I, Pero nag tumble siya ng gusto eh. Yeah, yeah. Tumbling tumbling siya eh, no? Uh, kaya wag na niyang ulitin. Dahil bata pa siya eh. Kaya. No? Oh. Tsaka magaling siya. Magaling pa. naman siya. No? Unlike most uh, most of our congressmen who are at yeah. best mediocre. At best. No? Yeah. Put it nicely. <laughs> Yun yeah. nga. My worry kasi is although I mean ganito kasi diba yung parang si Grace po medyo na-cancel na siya diba after the 2016 mm. parang no one in the opposition yeah. no one wants to talk about her it's not like it stopped her from still almost topping the Senate I mean if you talk to Grace po and their people say well we're still yeah. not the top Senate like, but obviously if you want to really go for the highest office you want to have as many people as possible and you don't want to be cancelled by one pl major plurality right so how does she yeah. Again, as, as I said, I'm not underestimating Grace Paul. I think Grace Paul is still a major player in many ways, but Grace Paul would have been even more... But, you, but he will be a permanent senator, like Loren. Yun lang eh. Medyo na-cancel lang <laughs> siya, di ba? Medyo na-cancel. Oh. So, our numbers for vice presidency were alanganin, di ba? Kasi she was considering VP naman this, this last election. So, how does she make sure she doesn't become Grace Paul, if I can put it that way? Kasi si Grace Paul medyo na-cancel na talaga eh. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, like she's still being blamed for Digong winning in 2016, which I, I completely yeah. disagree with. I have a completely different take on that. Um, So, like, is there a way, I don't want to use the word <laughs> rescue or redeem, or redeem, or I mean, what's the base, what's the exit ramp here for Stella? Because I think she still can give a lot to this country. And I, I, I just hope this past 12 months of horrible, tortuous, you know, experiences she has will really be a learning lesson for her to go next level. Because sayang eh. She Yeah, she could be Tingin ko yung kanyang pagiging mayor of Marikina ay it's it's both a one step backward and a two steps forward at the same time. Then, no? <laughs> Yun yung mangyayari. No? Atras siya ng konti sa national politics pero mag-advance siya sa local politics as the foundation later on for national politics. Dahil short memory ng tao eh. Kaya baka makalimutan na yung mga episode na yan. Lalo na ako magsha-shine siya as a mayor of a very iconic city like Marikina. 
And if, I think it would be nice also if she comes, give more interviews and humbly, you know, recognize, you know, show her self-awareness. Na, yeah, medyo sumobra ako dito. How I wish, you know, I, I approached it better. I think if she does kind of this kind of a heart-to-heart -heart interviews <laughs> with the right people, not necessarily yeah. R&R, &R, but you know what I'm saying? Boy Abunda! It's something like that, yeah, but maybe not Tito Boy, maybe, you know what I'm saying, maybe more like <laughs> types, right? I think it helps. Yeah. Because obviously when I read her interview with Rappler, that's where I got more <coughs> uh, empathetic understanding. Not necessarily sympathetic, but at least empathetic. So I felt that's good. because She's smart. She realizes her narrative should also be taken in consideration. Because she's like, parating binabash Ostella is like the new Harry Rock. Parang ganun ang dating, di ba? And the fact that she's mm. playing with Liberal Party, it's kind of weird situation. Now, speaking of technocratic, smart people, but not necessarily best politicians, let's talk about your <laughs> former colleague, former yeah. senator, former DLG secretary, former DOT secretary, um, Marroas. Let's talk about Because remember, uh, last week we just said, BBM needs a narrative change, right? He needs to mix things up, right? And isn't that exactly what he did in CAP is, you know, giving away rice together with Mar, talking about their youth days and chismis. Yeah. Like, that looks like a smooth operator operator kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, uh, President Bongbong Bong is beginning to realize, no, na katulad ng pinag-usapan natin, not only change the narrative, but to think out of the box no, as part of the narrative. At uh, a cabinet revamp, I think, will happen sooner than later. No? At uh, for now, ay parang uh, hindi kasama si Mar dun sa mga lumalabas na pangalan dito sa cabinet revamp. No? Ibang mga pangalan na lumalabas. Pero uh, until it happens, it, has, it's, it didn't happen. So ibig sabihin, the possibilities remain. No? Uh, lalo na maganda naman ang kanyang personal relationship with the president no sabi pa nga ni Bongbong uh, uh, half jokingly eh uh, sana hindi hindi na hindi maikwento ni Mar yung aming bachelor days sa New York no uh, because si Mar at least uh, nag graduate ng isa hindi i mean si Mar mo ba uh, graduate tingin mo ba uh, naranasan nila yung ating uh, yung bachelor days ng RNR Huh? <laughs> um, I mean, um, but but what do you think is all I mean okay if if I were to be a bit more cynical I would say hindi ba nagagamitan lang silang dalawa here na maybe there's really no intention of bringing Mar on board it's more like Mars just trying to be relevant okay lang and then Marcos is just bringing him in whenever he wants to change narrative or do you think there's really more to it do you think there's really a good chance na more maybe there could there could be more to it no Dahil ang problema lang ay last year, last year kasi nachichismis na si Mare. No? At uh, uh, isang taon na, wala pa rin naman. No? Wala pa rin naman. Pero early this year, sabi rin ni Bongbong, magkakabinet rebound siya eh. Pero hindi naman nangyari. Pero ngayon, dahil bumaba siya ng 15%, tingin ko mas seryoso siya ngayon for a cabinet rebound. Na partly as a buffer, partly to change the narrative, partly to really improve the cabinet. Dahil alam naman niya na uh, there's a lot to be desired eh, sa mga ilang mga members ng kanyang cabinet. No? Pero uh, looking at uh, knowing Mar and looking at the possibilities, uh, tingin ko hindi na maganda sana kay Mar ang DSWD. Pero Gatchalian is doing a good job na eh. Diyan, no? Maganda kay Mar ang uh, foreign affairs. No? Yeah, ako, di um, ako for me. Oh. Mas may, mas may, meron siyang gravitas para dyan, no? Yes. Mas may, mas may political and diplomatic uh, uh, skill set siya to do that. Right. Pero mukhang uh, hindi naman, hindi naman na uh, nakiki, parang hindi naman dissatisfied si Bongbong with Secretary mm -hmm. Manalo, mm -hmm. No? Hindi siya ako, no? Pero, it looks uh, like it's really DA or DTI, right? I mean, like, DTI is perfect for him and makes sense, but mohang DA would be the best for Marcos in a way of putting at some... Yeah, yeah. Push yeah. Push. May, uh, parang meron na for DTI, eh. Parang meron na. It, parang uh, kulang na lang ay i-announce yung DTI, no? Na napapalit, no? Pero, yung agriculture, baka sakali, 
Although meron na rin uh, na interview, meron na rin uh, nakahandang mag-take over sa agriculture, pero uh, ganun din sa finance, no? Uh, pero kailangan mong ilagay si Mar dun sa uh, dun sa lugar na hindi negative ang pagiging politiko no na ma-appoint halimbawa may isang politiko na gin- na hinahanda to take over the finance portfolio that would send the negative uh, message Wrong. to multilateral and investors no ayun yung kan pero halos halos clinch na yan no so kung kung ilalagay si Mar the best talaga is foreign affairs no Ah, uh, yun sana yung Dalawa kanya, lang no? tayo nan. Dalawa lang tayo nagsabi ng DFA. I mean, I saw it <laughs> three months ago. Yung mga friends ko sa DFA na na marites sila sa akin. Samo na ko kaya. Sa I mean, I'm just saying in principle, it would be the easiest thing tuloy nagalit at sa akin si Manalo. Dito <laughs> <laughs> siya charming sa akin, eh, joke lang. Um, yeah, but I think dahil we... kung dahil kung nag-iisip siya ng political future, mahirap pang DA, ah. Yeah? It can only do I so much. I think it's it's a quagmire, no? Just to put it nicely. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> DFA is perfect for him because if you look at DFA also, he did pretty decent when he talked to Xi Jinping before a special envoy of 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 Aquino, yeah. right? And uh, yeah, he's a he's a Wall Street global Wharton guy. I mean, like he wouldn't have yeah. any problem, and he wouldn't be another Teddy Boy Loxin na pakaren na pasikat and all of that. He'll be a legit <laughs> respectable guy. And and now, mayroon yeah. yeah. siya area, de ba? So mayroon siyang gravitas in the way si Yes, um, if I. Yeah. <laughs> Medyo may pagka George Clooney feels. Now, let's go to the last part of this episode, uh, Secretary Liamas. How was he as your colleague? Because, again, uh, see, I, this is what we do in R&R, right? And this is what I do. I'll be honest. I heard completely contradictory things about him. Now, I, I've had my interactions with him. Ako man, ang pansin ko sa kanya is, when he's among geeky people, like sa UP School of Economics or Engineering, he's funny, he's humorous, Like I'm among my fellows, right? <laughs> like kaya yeah. nalalakoy isang joke niyo nun. Nung 2016 inoffer namin ano? Asa may tinola? Kasi kailangan tayong hey, <laughs> ay gusto ko <laughs> one, right? Nagtawanan. Like he has that kind of humor. So like okay, yeah. naman sa sayang hindi yun ang lumabas sa sa politics. But of course we understand what was going on there. Maybe we can also talk about that. But at the at the personal level, many people were telling me, "Ah, Richard." Nakikita mo lang yung charming side niya. Nako, ano yan? Elitista yan. Ano yan? Karen yan. Ganon. Ano yan? Talagang, ano yan? Araneta yan. You know, like, you could hear those things. And then suddenly, now that I'm talking about more and more, I'll, I'll see comments from people. People message you. I hindi actually work with him. I have someone who works. He meticuloso siya. But he's consultative. He works. Um, I'm sure he's your friend. Or you work with each other. But but but, but what do you think is the most accurate? I mean, no one is perfect. Obviously, lahat tayo may, may Karen side and all. But, What's the real score on Mar Rojas as a person, as a leader, beyond all the FOPA, PR, and all the things yeah. that happened during 2016 elections, right? Yeah. yeah. Mar is a renaissance man. He's a man of many parts and accomplishments. You can talk almost anything with him. No? Meron siyang alam eh, sa mga maraming mga bagay. At hindi mediocre yung alam niya. No? Kaya uh, together ay pwede niyang gamitin yan no para mga crisis manage para uh, to go burn no to troubleshoot no uh, kaya niyang uh, kaya niyang gawin yan uh, siguro minsan yung weakness niya ay maingat siya no maingat siya na uh, dahil uh, ayaw niyang uh, uh, ayaw niya to cut corners hindi katulad namin na uh, lumaki sa university belt No, we are used to cutting corners, no? Getting the job done by whatever means. No, siya mas maingat siya diyan, no? Uh, sa rule of law, no, sa feelings ng ibang mga tao, uh, etc. no? Kami bahala na, nagtataog kami ng lamesa eh. Hindi gagawin ni Marion, no? Uh, siguro baka kinakailangan niya ng konti na ganun sa rap and tumble world of Philippine politics, no? Kailangan may konti siya. You think masyadong kailangan Overcome. Sabi nga ng kanta, kailangan na uh, uh, maginoo na medyo bastos, no? Si Mar is maginoo, no? Baka kailangan dagdagan yung pagiging bastos na yung tipong Richard uh, 
hey Darian na uh, bastos no yung yung ganun no <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, but medyo bar Ay, yung, medyo uh, palaban yeah. uh, I guess ayun. so so ganun yung 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 brother niya na namatay ang hindi ko kilala eh pero alam ko yun yung medyo bastos no yun yung nakikipag-inuman sa kanto yun yung uh, 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 kausap ko mga driver etc ganun ganun So, kinakailangan niya lang konting ganon. Pero, ayun nga, yung strong point niya, he's a renaissance man. No? Na kailangan natin sa sa gobyerno. No? Uh, the positive side of government. Patalino, nung minsan nga, nung nagpalita ako sa Singapore Forum, dyan, no? kasabay ko si Li Shenlong, kasabay ko si uh, Masagos, kasabay ko si, yung kanila ngayon, yung Prime Minister. No? Siya yung Finance Minister then. No? Uh, Pagbalik ko sa cabinet, sabi ko, grabe, no? Yung kasama kong mga minister sa sa Singapore, uh, they're talking about zeitgeist, no? They're talking about uh, 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 about uh, philosophy, literature, while discussing yeah. globalization, no? Uh, bakit wala akong makausap ng galito sa cabinet natin? <laughs> no, yun yun. Ang kausap ko noon si Mar. So, tawa siya ng tawa. Dahil si Mar maunawaan niya. Si eh. Wala pa kasi si Hitarian noon. Wala pa kasi si Hitarian. Wala pa kasi si Hitarian. Wala pa kasi si Dahil, panto eh, meritocracy ang Singapore eh. ba? Diba? Yan, ba? Diba? Ah, nagbabasa yan ng poetry, nagbabasa yan ng uh, ideology, no? nagbabasa yan, at saka, uh, yung skill set nila, is multi-faceted. Kaya nga, uh, yung, yung, uh, yung, uh, si Masagos na uh, uh, DILG nila pwedeng lumipat ng ng department easily eh. dahil they they are renaissance men no ayan no kaya nila maglipatan eh no no yun yung kaya ang ang sarap nila kausap do sa Singapore Forum no tapos And, balik ako sa balik ako sa Pilipinas wala akong makausap but you think Mar is of the same caliber no you think Mar yes is... think ko yung yung tipo ng mga Singaporean uh, managers, no? Cabinet ministers, politicians. Tingin ko ay uh, magiging at home si Mar sa ganyang klaseng crowd. Pero kinakailangan niya ng kwan eh, ng kaunting uh, maging medyo bastos, no? Yeah, but may <laughs> maybe pushing the envelope. Um, yeah, I mean, he's still young. I think he still got it. He's, pre- he's still smart. I think many people will still be excited to support him. Uh yun lang, I think he should just learn the right lessons from, you know, the PR strategy and in the past. Kasi, kung ikaw ay parang Rockefeller and, and I don't know, and 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 Kennedy, <laughs> you cannot pretend to be a Trump, right? You cannot out-Trump Trump. Yeah. Trump yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the mistake. Yeah. You cannot mahirap, be... mahirap magpajak. No? Mahirap magpajak. <laughs> Hindi Tapos, bagay. <laughs> at saka yun ang problema. Pajak kang strategy mo kasi si Bina yung akala mong kalaban. Hindi mo alam may digong pala na parating. Diba? <laughs> oh my God. Akala ko pajak, bardagulan pala yung... You see like double punch there. Eh. And then there's yeah. like the uh, elements. So I think everything came together to prevent him from... But you know, yeah. of the Senate, he was almost the vice president until the last Noibi angle. And he was first runner-up against someone like digong. So I mean, he's actually political yeah. that bad. Mahina lang siya ng 2019 elections. I think that one is yeah. classic Mar na pahapyaw and sumablay na siya. I think his 2019 yeah. elections is really weak. So so if Mar, yeah. think about Mar should run for also higher office, like let's say if he's back in the cabinet, you think he still consider it? Third time think ko running, running for the Senate, especially during the midterm, na very tight, uh, tingin ko dapat wag niyang gawin. No? Uh, 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 tingin ko the best for him is to be appointed for now in a, in a department na bagay sa kanya nasa ngayon iniisip ko foreign affairs with all due respect kay Secretary Manal yes of course no? yeah I'm, i'm sorry Secretary. i'm just saying if ever lang yeah. yun ang para mas swap yeah. sa kanya and yeah. then last point parang medyo similar sila ni Gibo no yung matalino mm-hmm. uh, suave and all Medyo kulang pa rin sa... I mean, of course, Mar is way more successful, electorally speaking. But medyo may similarities. I mean, if imagine a cabinet of Mar and then you have Gibo and... I'm sorry, cabinet of Marcos and you have Gibo and Mar there, right? Two of the smartest yeah, guys. Yeah. 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 Yes. I mean, amazing, right? It always pero, kung, pero kung ma... Yeah. Pero kung ma-observe mo si Gibo, 
sinusubukan niyang i-reinvent yung sarili niya. Oh, nagtataga na diba? medyo sablay. Matapang, matapang siya ngayon, no? Uh, tinatawag niya itong uh, China as invaders, no? Ah, uh, meron siya nakita mo ba na yung billboard? Billboard sa EDSA? May billboard siya ngayon sa EDSA, di ba? Oh, oh, tingnan mo, may kwento ka padala yes. ko sa iyo, no? So, yes. like reinvent niya na parang yes. siya ngayon, nakikipagsuntukan siya ngayon, no? Especially with the uh, with the uh, superpower like China, no? Robin Talagang na, oh, tapos eh no nakaharap na si si Robin Hood, binarabara niya, di ba? So, nagiging kwala siya. Nagiging Tagalog street siya, fighter. Diba? Nagtatagalog pa siya. Pansin ko, mas nagtatagalog yes, siya. Hindi yes. pa siya nandun. Uh, pero so, na- yes, medyo para similar sila ni Mar. Pero, nire-reinvent na na yung sarili niya na sa isang skill set na yung tawag natin kanina, for lack of a better term, medyo bastos. No? <laughs> Let's just say spicy. Medyo makulit. Medyo bardagulit. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Maraming salamat, Secretary Liam. Uh, almost exactly on time natin ang tapos. And of course, we were hoping to have this earlier. See, sa sobrang mahal na mahal natin, mga followers natin, kahit 9.30, 10.00, mahabol <laughs> natin kahapon talaga. Sabi ko, I want you to enjoy your day. You're catching up with friends. Also, I have <laughs> friends. And then today, I, I tried to do it earlier, pero sabi ko, hindi pilitin natin. So thank you so much, Secretary Liam, <laughs> for for always making time for 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 our discussions and uh, alam ko excited ka naman talaga to talk to me um, i mean i'm just being ah <laughs> uh, maliko tayo kasi but I, I i i just have a good feeling about our conversation kasi parang yung mga sinasabi natin nagkakatotoo minsan para sa <laughs> atin na with, with us without no kasi i know yung mga podcast namin ni Leloy suddenly like you know I, I there was a big hedge fund guy uh mayaman yan when he came to me and said alam mo kay ni Lelo favorite mga leftist thinkers ko sabi something like that <laughs> my suspicion is marami din tayong mga ganitong secret fans no who are listening to us <laughs> uh, and we don't know Pero how naman tayo non threatening naman tayo eh at saka maginoo na medyo bastos oh no? <laughs> ako yun ikaw medyo maginoo ako medyo bastos <laughs> Uh, what can I do? It comes so naturally. I know. Unless you didn't know it. I know, I know. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, yeah, with your background na Chinese Confucius, I think perfect na naman sa discussion natin. <laughs> oh, we'll catch up with you soon, uh, Secretary Liamas. And, uh, yeah, enjoy your trips, huh? Okay. Enjoy your trips. And I'll send you the contact number of yes. our friends. And please send my regards to Randy and all. Let's do the three triple R before he goes on his. Oh, that's fine. Di mo nagabot, no? Yeah, maganda. Uh, last weekend, so sayang. Let's try to do something. Over the thing this weekend, Lord Debera. Oh, the thing this weekend, Lord. No, talaga mat love na love natin. Wag po, wag po. Okay. Let's go. Bye.